Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Ray and welcome to my nutrition review series. All right, so today I'm gonna just jump in and answer some requests. That's how we play the game on this channel. You guys ask me questions, I answer them to the best of my ability. And today, the question that I got asked was, can you do a review on the Science Diet 7 Plus Senior Vitality Formula? Absolutely, yes I can. Um, we're gonna work through it using the pet food scoring system. If you're new to this channel, um, basically just a scoring system where you can evaluate foods, you know, even across the board. You don't have to get confused by marketing and we'll pick out marketing things as they um, present themselves so you know, kind of like put those in the back of your mind and what you can bring to the forefront. That's what the pet food scoring system does. It's a scale from one to 10. The closer you get to 10, seven, eight, nine, or 10, the more nutritionally appropriate it is um, for the life stage that we are evaluating at a very introductory you know, baseline level. This information is for the general population. It is taking into account that I don't know your pet. Yes, I'm a veterinarian. Um, yes, I have more detailed conversations with my personal patients. Um, this is just a general information um, that I am throwing out there in the ether to the internet. Um, so keep that in mind as you go, you know, go through this. It's not the Bible, it's not set in stone, but it is a way that you can um, adopt and maybe learn how to do this so that you can become more educated and make educated guesses and not guesses um, that are driven by emotional investment. Um, and it's great to be emotionally invested into your pet, um, but it is not really great to be emotionally invested into your pet's food um, because that's what marketers want and that's why a lot of people get sucked in and end up doing things that they wish maybe they hadn't done um, hadn't done if they had known maybe a little bit better. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go ahead and entertain this request on the Science Diet 7 Plus Senior Vitality Formula. We're gonna evaluate it against the senior guidelines as specified in small animal clinical nutrition. And so to do that, we need to go to the Hills website. That's gonna be hillspet.com, right? I got GD there up. I was looking up GD um, for a patient of mine. Um, that's a prescription formula. The um, 7 Plus Vitality is not. So it is an over-the-counter formula made for senior pets. We consider a dog a senior at 7 Plus. And there are some large giant breeds, so Great Danes, um, some of the really big Massifs and things like that. We'll actually consider them a senior earlier, like maybe at 5. Um, but in general, we will consider a pet a senior at 7 years old. All right, so there's the package. You've got the, um, what's that, Border Collie on the front there. We're gonna go ahead and pick through this um, and evaluate it using that 10 point system that we just talked about. And then so let's just look at the front of the package, see if we can put, pick out any marketing there. Um, help to nine million shelter pets find a forever home. So they've got obviously some sort of foundation where they donate money back. Has nothing to do with the nutrition of the food, although it is very nice. Um, not something really that is important to us as we're evaluating it based on nutrition. Um, they got the senior vitality. It says it improves everyday ability to get up and go. We'll see if there's anything special maybe added to contribute that. It is a chicken and rice formula. Um, it's available in a couple different sizes. We've got the back of the package. We're gonna go through that as we go through um, some of the uh, call outs. So we're gonna use the website to do that because it's a little bit easier to navigate than the picture of the bag. Key benefits, it says it improves again that everyday ability to get up and go. We're gonna see why that might be. It does have a proprietary blend of ingredients for brain health, um, interaction, energy, and vitality, and it promotes a healthy coat with vitamin E and omega-6 fatty acids. We'll see how that stacks up to the standards that we're gonna be using from small animal clinical nutrition. Ingredients, it's chicken, brewer's rice, yellow peas, cracked uh, pearled barley, we've got some whole grain oats, whole grain corn, egg products, chicken fat, down and down and down. It is not grain free and is not raw, so you're gonna get two points there um, just based on the ingredient list. So we're gonna remember that as we're going through the point scoring system. It says it's for medium breeds and large breeds. I'm assuming that it's based on the kibble size. It is a dry formula and they're specifically saying that this is for seniors. Now, as you're reading through the AFCO statement, which we are going to do, it is most likely not gonna say senior because that is on a legal de legally defined life stage. And um, there are only a handful of those. You can check out my video on life stages, um, but senior is not one of them. So it is most likely gonna say adults, but we are going to use the tailored, tailored, tailored specific um, nutrient um, 
requirements of the senior from the textbook and, and see how closely that they match that because they can't say senior on that because that is not a legal definition um, for AFCO, which is a government label regulation committee, okay? And I think that's important. I get this asked a lot. I know I say this on every video. So those of you guys, thank you so much that are always here. And thank you to the members. And I probably should say that and flash their names up here because it really does mean a lot to me that you guys have chosen to be members. Um, and you guys can be a member if you want by looking in the description box. There's a link the members get like um, some extra um, early release of the videos and they get, um, I've actually released some old videos that were clinical videos in there as well. So they get a couple extra things. You can check that out. But thank you, thank you to you guys and thank you to everybody that have subscribed. It's absolutely free to subscribe. Um, so I really appreciate when you do that. Anyway, the life stages, you're not gonna see senior. We're gonna use them, the parameters from Small Animal Clinical Nutrition because, oh yes, now I remember. AFCO is a um, label regulation body. They, they don't, not that they don't care about nutrition, but their primary function as a government agency is to monitor label claims. And so they tell you what is acceptable. They don't tell you what is ideal, okay? so. Um, you want to go to a hotel that is just acceptable or do you want to stay at a hotel that is wonderful and exceptional and ideal okay so that's kind of the thing like people will say well how can the government let those nasty horrible roach motels stay open um, well there is some minimum standards that the health department you know will allow doesn't mean that you want to do that it doesn't mean that it's illegal either so just kind of think of it that way they're a regulation body of what is acceptable not what is like ideal or optimal or what we really want and so don't put a whole lot of clout into AFCO um you know pay more attention to the companies and um, the research institutions the universities things like that that do the research and come out with the data um, for optimal nutrition, not necessarily just what is acceptable, but what is ideal, what is the gold standard. And so that's kind of why we're not going to see senior because AFCO doesn't care about the designation senior. Uh, so let's see. It is not recommended for puppies, um, pregnant or nursing. So we know that that probably has to do with the AFCO statement. It's going to say that. Let's go. We already looked at the ingredient list, so we already know they're going to get two points there because it's not grain free or raw. Um, let's go ahead to the feeding guide. So weight in pounds, so 20 pound dog. They're saying they should get one and one third cups per day. Let's see if it tells us how many kcals per cup. One and a third, 1.33 times 363. That is gonna be correct. So they're gonna get a point there. So we're up to, so far, three points. I saw the AFCO statement here at the bottom of the feeding guide. Hills um, animal feeding test using AFCO procedures substantiate that Hill Science Diet 7 Plus Senior Vitality Chicken and Rice Dog Food provides complete and balanced um, nutrition for the maintenance of adults. You see, it's not going to say senior because that's not a defined life stage by AFCO. It's like adult is the end. That's the end of the road for them. Um, and so they're going to actually get two points here. So and they did the feeding trials and it is specifically for adults. And so that's going to bring us up. Um, well, so far it's got a perfect score. So two, four, five. So they're already at a five going into the nutrient analysis. So let's see how they go, do, good they do here for the senior. Um, senior has their own special chart, so let's find that. A couple extra parameters here that are not included in the pet food scoring system. We're gonna go ahead and throw them in here. Okay, so for a senior dog, we want a low to moderate protein. We don't want to overwork those kidneys. They're already tired. They're already pooped out. We're not going to ask um, grandma and grandpa um, to go outside and run the tractor. They're already tired. Why are we going to put more work on them? Um, kind of the idea here, right? So we want between 15 and 23 for those old, aged kidneys. And this is coming in at 22.6. So excellent. Uh, fat, uh, not as much energy being utilized. These older guys are not running, you know, the marathons they used to run. So we want a little bit of lower fat. We don't want them to become obese. We don't want them um, to become heavy so that they are having trouble with their mobility. And so fat, we want ideally between seven and 15. Um, and we're coming in at 13.8. So we're gonna get a point there. Fiber, these older guys actually need a little bit higher fiber. As they get older, things start to slow down. Um, and constipation happens, just like we know in older people, that can be an issue. And so ideally we want the fiber to be um, greater than 2%. They're actually gonna miss that. Their fiber is only coming in at 1.3%. So they are gonna lose it on the fiber. You could always add a fiber supplement. It's very easy to do. You can ask your veterinarian about um, which fiber supplements may be appropriate or if 
you know, even needed if your pet's not having issues with um, constipation or anything like that. It may not, it may be a non-issue, um, but they aren't going to get the point there because it's just, it's not in the standard. So they're going to get the point. Minerals, um, this is very uh, strict, okay? So the senior, the ideal parameter for senior minerals is very hard. I'm not gonna lie, this is, I don't know that there are many foods that are gonna meet, meet this mark. Um, calcium, ideally between 0.25 and 0.75, and phosphorus between 0.3 and 0.7%. These numbers are right. I have checked and double checked and triple, triple checked the small animal clinical nutrition. These are the numbers that are ideal and it is very difficult to find it. The calcium is gonna be slightly over at 1% and the phosphorus is going to be okay at 0.68. So it's a little bit, quite a bit high, but that 0.5% is very difficult. And I do not know that there are many foods that can achieve that. Why is that? Um, I don't know why that is. Um, maybe next time I call for a consultation to Hills or if I am at a conference and I see a rep from Hills, I can ask them. It may be that it's just not possible to get it down to that 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 far down um, there are a lot of things in medicine and science where we say well if we did this um you know we would live forever right um but it's just not possible like it's physically not possible so it may be a case that in order to get all these other things right it's just not possible to get the calcium down that low i don't know um, or it may just be extremely cost prohibitive and if they got it that low it would make the bag so expensive no one would be able to afford it um, so they are going to lose the point on the calcium there but they are going to get um three points so they're going to get the protein the phosphorus uh, and the fat, so three there. So three plus five makes this an eight. And so a pretty good option for your senior. Um, if you are out there and you find a senior food that meets these very stringent uh, calcium levels, let me know because I would love to share that with our friends here on the Nutrition Nation. But we're gonna go ahead and put this one in the senior um, dog playlist because it is a good option for you. Um, this was the Science Diet 7 Plus uh, Healthy Vitality. I think is what it was called. And so you can find that there. You can also find it in the Amazon storefront. I'll add it there for easy access. Let's, before we go, really quick, do the vitamin E and some of the other ones because I do have these here, not part of the pet food scoring system. So this is just extra information ancillary to like the base bones of it. So um, vitamin E is, um, as you know, deals with, it's, it's basically can be an antioxidant. It helps with the oxidative damage that occurs with aging um, process. And so in order for that to occur, that free radical scavenging, it needs to be above 400. You will see vitamin E in a lot of pet foods and I do encourage you to look at it because um, a lot of them will say, we put in vitamin E and the vitamin E is wimpy like something like 75 and people are like, oh wow, 75 vitamin E, that's a lot. Absolutely not, it is not a lot. It has to be above 400. You can see the science site is really putting an honest effort forward because they've got 1,463. And so they're going above and beyond and really putting some good vitamin E in there for you guys. Uh, vitamin C it needs to be above 100. They're at 288 parts per million, so that's really good. Um, let's see here, chloride, are they listing it? They got the sodium level there, they don't have the chloride. Sodium and chloride usually um, go together. They're not, they're not listing in this particular one. Um, the reason um, chloride and sodium are important, that has to do with, you know, a lot of cases of dogs that have um, heart disease as they get older, we need to have some regulation on that. Uh, they are listing the sodium. Sodium uh, should be between 0 0.15 and 0 0.37, they're, or sorry, 0 0.35, and they're at 0 0.37. I don't usually deduct if it's just a little tiny uh, hundredth of a point off, and so pretty good on the sodium there. And sodium and calcium, because they're uh, ions that, um, they go together. If you guys are familiar with um, chemistry, uh, the veterinary medicine, a lot of us are scientists. We're all scientists. Most of us are. We all have undergraduate degrees in various um, disciplines of the sciences. And a lot of us, well, all of us are required to take chemistry one and two and organic chemistry one and two and biochemistry. So a lot of us are really big chemistry, uh, chemistry nerds. So sodium and chloride are like best friends are like married and so they go together. So because the sodium is good, um, the chloride is probably also good as well. And so there you have it. That was um, Science Science Senior with a couple um, little extra things outside of the pet food scoring system. Um, I hope that was helpful for you and you can utilize this process to evaluate maybe some other senior foods. If you have 
have a senior food um, that you'd like me to review or it's not really a review it's more of an analysis right I'm not calling winners or losers here I'm just um, giving you a way to go through foods and be able to um, evaluate them against each other right feel free to leave a comment down below as well and share and like with your friends and do all of those fun things and I will hang out with you guys next time bye